Hello and welcome back to Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2022. So this is the second highlights video from the show. The show has been open for three days now. And what's the buzz? What's the vibe? Well, the show is as busy as ever. Loads of people, everyone very excited to be back out at a motorhome and caravan show. The dealers are reporting that people are still buying, the sales are buoyant. However, the thorn in the side of everyone is that delivery times, especially on motorhomes and camper vans, are far, far longer in the future. The lead times are far greater than anybody wants, least of all the manufacturers and the dealers, but especially the customers who are dying to get their hands on their new vehicle. Unfortunately, that is a sign of the times. And the other sign of the times is that most people are now having to sign up to committing to purchase their new vehicle without actually knowing what the final price is going to be. They have an idea of the price, but that could increase. So things have changed. We are in a new situation right now, but the good thing is it's not slowing people down and there's plenty left to see. And for this video, we're gonna kick off with our friends from Bosnia Herzegovina and Darubis Caravans and their latest incarnation of the mobile yacht. Do you remember last year, the very lovely Layla showed us the Darubis caravan, but it was too big for the UK. Well, guess what? They've made a smaller one. Yeah, and it's fully customizable, just like the larger one. So this caravan is two meters shorter. It's two meters 40 wide. So it's under eight feet wide. You can have, a, have the GRP in whichever color you like. Remember folks, these are built in Bosnia Herzegovina. And look at the size of this front locker. I mean, it's enormous. Super. So yeah, you can get the GRP in practically any color you like. Polycarbonate windows at the front. Now this one, unladen weight, or max mass in running order, should I say, is 1,480 kilos with an MTPLM of 1800 kilos. I'll just show you the very distinctive back. So that is Darubis's signature back panel. So if we come round, unfortunately Layla is not here today. Layla is on her way, so we're gonna miss her, but I obviously need to get this video done. striking and then get ready for this folks this is like some caravan you have never seen before they've gone all out on the yacht experience here white or white sort of leather um, they've paired it with this oak table I don't know if it's oak but it's this wow that's oh gosh it's very premium very premium obviously the sofa here becomes a double bed and then instead of your bog standard dinette you've got a desk here so this is ideal for people who are working on the move this is all customizable folks if you're not keen on the white leather they'll do you something else so one thing I've noticed is I don't think the windows open. Obviously you've got a, a hecky roof like here, near the star panels. But yeah, and don't forget that you can change the color of the lights. Electric hot plate, interesting. And we've also got domestic fridge and domestic microwave, which is leading me to believe this caravan is not fitted with gas. So we come through. This is a prototype, by the way, because I'm thinking, where's the plug? Oh yes, I remember now. They told me it's a prototype. But it does have the mirror for the all important, hello, sorry. 
and uh, yeah and then we have a quick shower so yeah I don't know um, if anyone would ever bring one of these to the UK but it's just so wonderful to feature products from all around the world and it's lovely to uh, they're just lovely people at Darubis I'll say one day I'll make it to Bosnia Herzegovina but we can have the carpet any color you like so yeah it's all fully customizable I think we need some more lighting in here and I think we do need a little bit more ventilation but this is a prototype that they're working on and obviously the reason they bring prototypes to the show like this is to get feedback just like that but they are so striking and I think what I like about it most is the fact it's just a bit different and you can have it as you wish. So there we have the latest caravan from the lovely people at Darubis. Now many of you will be familiar with the concept of Brit stops. If you're not, what Brit stops are is you buy the book at the beginning of the season and then you can stay at all kinds of uh, producers or farms or pubs or restaurants and the deal is you park up you can park free of charge overnight in exchange for buying at the farm shop or eating in the pub or eating in the restaurant there is a similar concept over here in Germany called Landvergnügen and what you do is you buy the book for 50 euro Here's the book and it gives you access to 1400 I believe more than 1400 uh, uh, farms small producers vineyards in Germany and what's interesting for us or for well for me especially is whereas Brit stops is for motorhomes only about 50% of the Landvergnügen people uh, sites will also accept trailer caravans. Now then, this is the, the numbers of the book are limited. The book is produced uh, around about March and this year for 2022 it was sold out by May. So you've got to be quick. So if you're planning a trip to Germany next year in 2023 and you fancy a low-key relaxed informal tour eating and drinking your way around Germany then you could do a lot worse than get a Landvergnügen book and just cruise around from farm to vineyard to restaurant yeah it sounds like a great way to tour to me so for more details folks go to landvergnügen.com there it is on the screen and don't delay because numbers are limited and I've ex the gentleman here explained that the reason numbers are limited is because they don't want these little sites being overwhelmed so there is a very strict ratio of books that are sold every year this year sold out in May don't delay and now for something completely different the bus camp tipi XL as you can see for a start look at that color Fiat Ducato base. This one is on the 6.4 meter chassis. No, it's all right. I wasn't filming. So this is on the 6.4 meter chassis. No, it's still fine. So this is on the 6 meter 4 chassis, as you can see. Let's have a look inside. So we got. So Bus Camp tell me they can basically customize the interior to the customer's wishes. So in this one we have a, a shorter seat and we've got all these cabinets across the way but you can also have a longer seat and a different kitchen. As you can see it's a very popular van and then we have a drop down bed over the lounge area and then look at all this storage here as well. And like I say, this is fully customizable. Obviously, customization comes at a price of 129,000 euro. The empty PLM is a license friendly uh, 3,500 kilos, and the weight empty is approximately 3,000 kilos. 
We've got plenty of storage here. And then we come through, we've got a basic sort of kitchen here, but don't forget, as I say, these are customizable and you can have a better, big, bigger, 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 better kitchen if you so wish. But the feature, as you can see on this particular van, is that window. Look at that picture window. People can't get enough of it. That is amazing. And then this is really cool, which is the pull-out shower room. And I will get France to demonstrate that now. Oh, that is cool. That is cool. Wow. So the whole cabin slides out. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Franz. Thank you. So that was super cool. And then finally, just in case I get any more complaints about forgetting the fridge, there is a fridge here. Oh, wow. Oh no, this is my kind of a fridge. I wonder if it comes ready stocked. And then, oh, we've got the low floor as well. But I like this, this flat door. Well, I like this flat door as a, as a campsite neighbor because they don't, then you don't get the noise of it. And then we've got a locker here in which you can put a beer pump. I'm not joking, you can put a beer pump in there. And then that gorgeous picture window. It's so lovely to see something that's just a little bit different. A little bit spendy, but my goodness. If you want it, you can have it, if you pay for it. You see, I told you, you could have a beer pump in that cupboard. This is France demonstrating the beer pump. The thing that, the things you have to do, France, for your job, it's a terrible life. I guess you have to drink that now as well. Okay, so for all the motorhome owners with dogs, this is LDC Systems, who produce a doggy transportation and cave system exclusively for Canals and Weinsberg motorhomes. As you can see, there's a conversion in the garage and you've got a little doggy pen there. This is the middle comfort pack, which has a window in the garage door with a fly screen. And then you've got the separate floor and there is access to inside the motorhome. So you can put the dog directly into his little pen for transportation and also at night if you want to put the dog in their pen at night. And uh, I asked, this is LDC Systems, they're a small company. And uh, I did ask about if they could supply a UK Canals Tabot dealer or Canals Feinsberg and uh, they're not so sure because of all the paperwork now involved with Brexit, but I'm sure if you persist they would uh, supply your canal dealer in the UK. Um, the price of the middle package, which we're looking at now, which is the comfort package, is five, four, four thousand euro. And then we've got this one, which is the premium, which is the second window and fly screen. And we've also got this big fly screen here. And uh, that's obviously more expensive. I didn't get the price of that. I just got the price of the middle one, which is about 4,000 euro. So yeah, what a great idea. I don't think Dougal would approve. I think he would want something sort of purple and velvet and lined with a valet. Oh, he's already got one of those, hasn't he? Me. I'm back with my friends on the Adria stand because for this year, 2023, they have refreshed the Altea range. So I can't show, me, show you a UK model because there's none here at Dusseldorf. So I'll show you the next best thing, which is a German specification Altea. This is the 432PX, sadly not available in the UK. We don't have this layout. We're gonna have UK specific layouts in the Altea range, but the refresh is kind of the same throughout the range. The Altea 432PX, it has 
an MRO of 1060 kilos and an MTPLM of 1300 kilos which is excellent when you look at how much you get in this little caravan and the price here in Germany is about 23,000 euro so enough of looking at me let's have a look at the caravan and as you can we give you a quick overview so you can see the minimal clean simple design the gray with the teal running into the blue stripe and unusually for the German market we got smooth sides so they're obviously but also for Germany as I say this is unique this is not available in the UK this is a European model so uh, they don't have the big panoramic windows that we're going to have in the UK unfortunately but it wouldn't be uh, fitting with this particular layout anyway so the other thing is quickly too you can see we've got some more styling notes here from the Astella with these very super duper LED lights and the little the way that the grab handles here run into the moldings there really really lovely design two-part door with a bin and I understand why this isn't available in the UK because UK buyers just seem to be absolutely transfixed on caravans with a dinette at the front but this just works so well in my opinion this layout and this if the action was available in this layout in the UK which it is not it would have been one that I bought because I think it's so practical for one or two people you have the dinette here and a nice big window at the side so you can look out to the view and then as we come around and show you the rest of the caravan you can see it's got everything in this compact package that weighs just 1300 kilos do bear in mind that German caravans normally do not have things like a battery charger and off-grid stuff the heater is normally just main uh, just gas without a mains capability so the spec isn't quite up to UK caravans which is reflected in the price but I really do like this layout it's so practical and it's giving us a nice feel of the interior now of the the new Altea with this uh, yeah, nice nice wood grain effect here so we've got a second wardrobe here plenty of space and then as we go through here to the washroom again some people are going to go oh no it's got a wet room with a fold down sink everything they don't like but it works so oh we've got the mirror there for the all important hello sorry and there is your space saving sink super and a bench cassette and a shower so you will have a shower curtain protecting the door and the all important towel rail for hanging your towel after your shower and then we've got even more storage here mirrors here which obviously is going to make the this this little area just feel bigger it's the oldest design trick in the book but it works and the good thing is too, even though it's strictly speaking the bedroom area, that storage space is next to the kitchen. So you could actually use it as a kitchen overflow storage area. Not that you're short of space for storage in the kitchen. Obviously no microwave in this, this model and no cooker, uh, sorry, no oven or grill, which we will have in the UK. I can say with some degree of confidence, even though I have absolutely no idea because we always have ovens and grills in the UK. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, soft closed drawers, anyone? 
We've got some so-called premium manufacturers in the UK who can't manage this on a 40 grand caravan, let alone a 20 grand caravan. Yeah, so we've got the gas only Truma heating there. I wouldn't know if we're going to have that in the UK, folks. I would imagine we're going to have a combi, but don't quote me on that. Check out Azria UK's website. I just wanted to show you this to give you the feel of the new Altea. We've got fabrics on the wall now here and just in the lounge area to make it feel that little bit more cozy. Yeah, this is a super, super caravan and I really hope that the ones we get in the UK are as nice as this I don't see any reason why not but yeah absolutely lovely we can always rely on our friends at Canals Tabot to give us a little display of some classic old timers Although this isn't so old time, this is the modern interpretation of the Schwalbenest, which is just, just like that little P2010 we saw in the first highlights video, but done a little bit bigger, a little bit more room, and I don't know, there's, there's more windows. I, I think, do we still have a market for something like this? I guess Canals Tabot give us the uh, the Tab 320, which is uh, very cute. But the thing is, with the Schwalbenest, you can stand up in this. I I do think Canals can can you give bring us bring back the Schnell the Schnell Schwalbenest. It's just so cute. Yeah, that was the 50 year 2011 version. So I think it's time for the 62 year version. This is the original Schwalbenest, a bit smaller. See, now that's cute. They've actually just got a camping table in there. Oh, this is the original. I do like to see some classic caravans. Do you remember a few years ago, folks, there was a whole hall devoted to classic caravans. That was brilliant that year. It's a shame that they haven't repeated it, but obviously that's a lot of a lot of expense, etc., for all the classic caravan owners to bring their caravans in. So we got the 1969 Weinsberg camper van. So yeah, just a quick look here, how they were doing it 53 years ago. I know it's 53 years ago. There you go. Oh, there's a mirror there over there for a hello. Sorry. A little pop-up roof, and the kitchen. So you've got the kitchen across the front, but you've still got open plan cab. That's interesting too, the, the spare wheels between the kitchen and the cab. <laughs> and then finally, uh, 1988 Canals Traveller. Let's have a little look in this baby. Do you remember the blue and yellow in the late 80s? Uh, Avondale Mayfair, anyone? Do you remember those? Oh, I really wanted an Avondale Mayfair when I was 18. <laughs> oh dear. So here we are, let's have a quick look. Can't go in, but give you an idea. Do you know, look at those lockers up there gives you an idea that's that's pretty space age now we're talking 1988 wowzers so thank you canals thank you for bringing us a few classics to uh, bring a smile to our face and remember just how far we've come but yeah please bring back the Schwalbe nest thank you and I'm in hall three and this took my eye groovy goods because it's not just the fact that you've got plastic free dishcloths etc here but this is what's catching my eye the solid detergents solid dishwasher detergent solid bath cleaner solid glass cleaner 
So I think, I think I might have to try some of this. And I've spoken to the very lovely Daniel here. Give us Hi. a wave, Daniel. Nice to meet you, Andrew. And unfortunately, yeah, thank you, Brexit. We can't get these in the <laughs> UK. Um, but I think, I think Daniel, I'm going to take a, a starter pack and I'm going to try this out. Yeah, and uh, yeah, it's brilliant. It and you will love it. I will love it. I will love it. Apparently I'll love it, folks. So uh, I'll keep you posted on how I get on with my groovy goods. Oh, there's the party from Barking. This is the Vestavan. And Vestavan is a Turkish German company. The caravans are made in Turkey. They have a GRP monocoque construction. Oh, yes. And these are special editions in special colors. So you can see traditional colors white this one is silver we've got a this green going into blue on this one here the base price well the the price on this one it's 26,000 euro and that includes the awning quite a few extras on here cassette toilet etc we'll just wait for these people to finish we're we'll going to have a look inside Vesta vans USP is that it's all natural inside it's all wood now the MRO of this caravan is 1200 kilos and the MTPLM is 1500 kilos. So there are two, so there are two models. Uh, we've got a, the two berth here. There's a four berth with bunks at the back. So we have a little look. So yeah, it's all, all natural wood. Now what's interesting is the windows are automotive windows, so they are single glazed. The front window is double glazed, but the side windows are single glazed. By the fact we got some samples here, this looks like we can have different coloured upholstery. Got a step in the uh, floor there. But all this furniture is, uh, I've been told, is made by hand in Turkey it certainly looks looks the business and then we have the kitchen at the back uh, pretty standard camping kitchen we got the Truma Truma combi heating this one's been fitted too with a touch panel for the control control stuff that was an optional extra but that's included in that price I gave you so uh, let's have a look in the washroom. So we've got quite a basic washroom here. Uh, we've got the shower, obviously hot water from the Truma Combi. Um, not too sure about the finish on there. But yeah, it's all there. Uh, yeah, all GRP. We've got the mirror for the all important. Hello! Sorry. But it's a good price and you're getting a good solid caravan for that price. I mean, it really is. Very good. And I love this floor, this wooden floor. That really is the business. I've got loads of space in this kitchen loads of space in the kitchen easy to use lockers yeah I'm, I'm impressed with this yeah definitely impressed with this the Vestavan from Turkey Obviously not available in the UK, but it's nice to see, and it's nice to see a monocoque construction, which is obviously going to guarantee you against leaks. There you go. So there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed that second roundup of Caravan Salon Dusseldorf 2022. There's still plenty more videos to come from the show over the next couple of weeks of some of the more interesting individual vehicles. So look out for those. In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Please give us a thumbs up, subscribe if you don't already. And it just leaves me to say from Dougal, who's back home with my mum.
And from me, thanks for churning in. <laughs>